Hi guys, welcome back to this video tutorial on RESTful web services. In this video we will see how to create a web service to upload a file on the server and uh, uh, how to uh, link this file to an object into the database by uh, storing uh, um, its name, the name of the file, uh, into a field of uh, the object uh, into the database. Let's create the method uh, of the web service uh, that uh, uh, allows to upload a file. Here in the company WS uh, class, we can uh, copy and paste the um, code of the method here. This method allows to upload the file, to store it uh, uh, on the file system on the, of the server, and to, and to link uh, this file uh, to an object having uh, an ID passed as a path param here. This link is uh, uh, consists of uh, in uh, storing the name of the file into uh, the uh, logo property logo field of the uh, company object having the uh, specified ID. This method consumes uh, data uh, of a multi-part form data uh, media type. Uh, in fact, in the body of the request that has uh, to be a post, because we are creating an object on the server, uh, there is the, um, the file itself that is composed of two uh, parts the input stream of the file that is the content of the file and uh, of its uh, metadata from data uh, content disposition uh, where uh, we will uh, uh, read the name of the file to store into the um, 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 logo property of the company object. Then uh, the, this uh, method first of all will uh, check if into the database is there a, an object with a specified ID. If uh, uh, this uh, object exists so that uh, company uh, is uh, not null here um, uh, the method call uh, a method save logo of the company repository class that uh, we are going to uh, create uh, now, uh, passing to it uh, uh, the file input stream, the metadata, and uh, the, uh, the company object uh, uh, that we uh, retrieved here into the database. Uh, if uh, uh, there is no object of uh, with this uh, ID into the database, or if uh, there has been an SQL exception in, uh, in the retrieving the data into the database, uh, this uh, method will uh, return an empty object of class company here with the response object and uh, with a, a HTTP status code of uh, 452. In case uh, that the, um, uh, the object uh, uh, has been uh, saved uh, successfully, uh, the um, method will return uh, the company object to which uh, we have uh, um, uh, linked the file on the server, and this uh, object will have uh, into the logo property, the name of the file uploaded. 
Now we can create the save logo method in the company repository class. We can copy and paste the code of this method here. You can see that the, this method uh, is using uh, this uh, constant uh, that is uh, the path of the folder on the server where to store the uploaded file. We can uh, copy the declaration of this uh, constant always from here. As a private object in the uh, com in the company repository class okay so uh, this uh, method uh, ex extracts the name of the file uh, uploaded uh, from the file metadata argument then uh, it um, create a new file uh, on the server on the file system of the server whose uh, absolute path is uh, given uh, um, by the concatenation of the um, path of the folder on the server and the file name the, so the uh, original file name, uh, 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 file name of the file uploaded is the same name used uh, uh, to store the file uh, on the server. And then with this uh, uh, while loop, uh, it uh, reads uh, the um, input stream in blocks and uh, writes uh, these blocks uh, um, into the output stream on the file ok then um, the file name is uh, uh, used is uh, stored into the logo property of the uh, company object and uh, uh, the same uh, um, object is updated with the uh, file name uh, into the database calling the update company method that we saw uh, in the previous videos. Finally, uh, the company object with the uh, file name um, is a return to the calling method. Okay, as you can see, uh, the folder uh, uh, where the um, web service uh, will store the uploaded file is uh, in this uh, uh, di directory here on my computer that is also the server and this directory now is uh, empty okay now the web service is ready so we can uh, restart our application and uh, uh, send a request to the web service Okay, now we can send the HTTP uh, request from uh, Postman. The relative path uh, is a uh, logo. 
So let's create a new request here. The method is post. We can copy uh, the first part of the URL here and add logo. And uh, the uh, the ID value of the object to which to link uh, uh, the up uploaded file says so um, two. Now in the body of the request we have to uh, add the file to uh, send. Here um, it's okay the form data option. Then we have to select file because we are sending a file. The name of the parameter is a file. It is this name here corresponding corresponding to the input stream and the metadata of the file. And here as a value we can uh, select a file uh, to upload here from my computer. Uh, for example, um, this file finish. Okay, now I can uh, send the, the file, the request. Okay, um, in the body of the response, there is the object to which we have a link the uploaded file with ID2, that is this one. And with the name of the file uploaded here into the logo property. Let's see the folder. Okay, this is the file. Now let's see uh, what happens if we um, uh, send as a ID number. Uh, a value of an object that doesn't exist into the database, for example, 30. We can choose another file here. Okay. Okay. Um, the web service has returned an empty object here with ID 0, and the status code is uh, 552. Okay, here is the value. Now uh, let's see uh, what happens if uh, the, um, the, um, uh, uh, when we uh, uh, try to uh, uh, save the file uh, onto the file server and uh, there is an exception uh, in this case. Let's go here and change the name to the this directory so that the web service uh, uh, will not uh, found, find the uh, folder okay now we can for example uh, send a request with uh, uh, id equal to 1 Okay, another error with an empty object here, but the status code is uh, uh, 451. It is uh, uh, that one sent in this case here. Okay, that's all. In the next video we will see how to download a file um, related to an object whose uh, ID is sent to the web service uh, as a path parent. Thank you for your attention.